Hi everyone! So to, um, for the makeup tutorial today, I decided that I would do a New Year's Eve look. Really dramatic, lots of glitter, uh, false eyelashes, the whole nine yards. Um, I don't typically do a dark lip when I do a dramatic look, but I find on New Year's Eve that anything goes. And uh, this is one of my favorite looks for a really festive party. Um, it really makes people look because you don't really see the sparkle until you blink and it catches the lights beautifully. Um, I really hope that you try this out. Um, it's not as hard as people think it is, but uh, I'll show you how to get there. So if you'd like to learn how to get this look, keep watching. All right, let's get this party started. So I start with a fresh face and I've already done one eye to kind of make the video go faster. So I'm starting with Urban Decay's Primer Potion. I'm going to put that all over my lid and underneath my eye as well because we're going to be smoking it out. Now I'm going to go in with my highlighter uh, for my brow color which I usually save to the end but for this one we're going to do a lot of blending so I'm putting that on first. This is just a gorgeous blonde shade that just blends like a dream. It's from the new Gwen Stefani palette from Urban Decay. I'm going to go with a transitional color as always. I'm going with a really soft brown. You're not going to really see that color, but it really transitions the darker colors easier. Um, I find people that skip this step has really struggled with the blacks and grays and dark colors, so um, I highly recommend doing this. The eyeshadows just kind of slide around on one another and make it easier to blend. So I'm just going to focus that on my upper crease, not quite right in my socket. Now I'm going to go in with this gorgeous color from the Too Faced palette called Eiffel Tower. This is the Grand Palisades palette. Um, I got this for Christmas, so <laughs> I had to play. I'm going to concentrate this on my outer V to start. And then I'm going to drag the color along, really concentrating on my crease. I want that to be pretty dramatic, um, just to make that glitter that we're going to put on later all that more dramatic. Now I'm going to go in with this silver color from that same palette and I'm going to pat this all over my um, lower lid and the inner tear duct. Don't fuss too much, you're going to be doing some more blending and it's going to end up looking fabulous. Um, this is just to put a base of silver down. This isn't your main glitter color, obviously. Such a pretty shimmery look for the evening, especially for New Year's Eve. And now I'm going to put it right in the inner tear duct and I'm going to drag it just a little bit, about a quarter down my eye, uh, my under eye, because we're going to be putting glitter there as well. Now I'm going to line my eyes with my Kat Von D um, Eye Tattoo Liquid Liner. Um, this is just a gorgeous black, one of my favorites. You've seen me line my eyes before. I'm not going too crazy, I just want a line to hide the band uh, of the falsies. Now I'm going in with a silver liquid liner. Um, this is to make the glitter stick, so I'm going to put this all over my lid. If you don't have this, you can use eyelash glue. Just use it very sparingly and let it dry and get tacky a little bit before you add the glitter. If you're going to use liquid liner, work quickly because it dries. Um, this is cosmetic glitter. Do not use craft glitter because if it gets in your eye, you can cut your eye. Um, you can find cosmetic glitter anywhere. Just going to use a small brush and pack it onto the wet eyeliner. I love this color. It's got silver and a little bit of an iridescent sh shimmer to it. It's just uh, so pretty. Um, I do own a lot of glitters. Uh, they're not easily wearable, but who cares? Now I'm just going to take a clean brush and clean up some of the fallout from the glitter because you're going to have it. Now I'm going to go back in with the same brush that has the dark uh, eyeshadow product and just going to clean up any edges that need cleaning up. Now I'm going with a small pencil brush again with that dark color. I'm going to put that right underneath my, underneath my lash line and just smoke it out a little bit until it meets the silver that we've put in the inner corner. 
Now I'm going to line my waterline with a black eyeliner. This is always the most attractive part. I'm going back in with that metallic and now I'm going to do my inner tear duct and that one fourth, uh, one quarter of my under eye with the glitter. And I'm just using that same brush and just packing on some glitter in there to get some real shock and value out of it. So for a change I'm actually going to do falsies. These are really wispy ones. Um, just some lash glue, some tweezers. The trick to lashes is let the glue get a little tacky before you try to apply them. I am by no means an expert. I fight with them constantly, but I find if you just pinch them and use tweezers to push them down that you have the best success. So just pinch the eyelashes between your finger, uh, your thumb and your forefinger, just like that, and it tends to adhere to the lashes. There you go. And let them dry a little bit before you move on. I'm going to do a cut cheek, um, much more dramatic than I normally do, so I'm going with this dark brown. Still in the three shape for contouring. just really carving out my cheekbones so it shows up. Now I'm going in with this pretty bubblegum pink to highlight my cheeks. Because it's New Year's Eve and you're probably going to be going out, a little bit darker makeup isn't going to hurt anything. Now I'm going with a nice shimmery highlight for right underneath my eyes. And a little bit on my Cupid's bow as well. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to, now that my lash glue is dried, I'm going to use my mascara just to combine my natural lashes and the false lashes. This helps make it look more seamless. Some people skip this step because they don't like to ruin their lashes, their falsies, but I find that it makes it look more natural. And that is pretty much the finished eye look. I'm going to go in, and I know I'm breaking my cardinal rule of not using a dramatic lip with a dramatic eye, but New Year's Eve, the rules don't apply, so I'm going in with this gorgeous coppery red color. I'm not using a liner because this is a gloss, and I'm just going to smear that all over. And now one more time with the dry brush, getting rid of any of the glitter fallout, because you're going to have it <laughs> no matter what you do. And this is the fr um, finished look. It is just so gorgeous to wear out. Um, it's of course not an everyday look, but I really hope you try it out. I just love it. So I really hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. And uh, if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and rate, comment, and subscribe. I love to hear your requests for videos. Um, and let me know if you try this. I'd love to see your recreations of it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.